so. Just letting birds out today. They're all eating and drinking. It's the middle of February today. It's like February 13th or something. It's 43 freaking degrees outside. I can't believe this. It's never been in the 40s in February and shit. In 20 some fucking years I've been around. I've never seen 40 in February. But got the Dodge moved. It was sitting right here on the cement pad, but I figure this can kind of melt off the rest of the way. If it gets nice enough, it's supposed to dump us with snow again and again in a couple of days. But what I wanted to show you all is this. It's my brother Leon's. He had that fucking Dodge Caliber I did a video on a while back. Piece of shit. But uh, I ended up selling that and picking this up. Uh, needs some work. But it does run and drive. That's what we're going to do. Aftermarket radio, that clock that always runs. Horn don't work, but it still has the old school Ford steering wheel and old Ford dash. Walk around the outside, but I uh, wanted to show you guys. Look at that. For a Michigan truck, that bit of rust right there, that ain't bad. There's a farm truck in Escanaba. Steak bed on it. It's a single cab short box. Flat bed with the racks on it. The racks do come off, but I don't really have any reason to take them off for now. Kind of like the looks of it with it on there. Thinking about doing something like this to the Dodge, but I'd go with metal for the Dodge bed. So, I fired this truck up like a couple days ago. I think the starter's weak in it though. Either that or the battery is. One or, one or the other's weak. Battery holds charge though, but it just cranks over kind of slow sometimes and then sometimes it doesn't. Fired right up though. Got a bunch of spare parts, belts and breather box that needs to go back on. I need to get the bolt. I don't know how well this phone's gonna pick any of this up. The speakers are kind of going out, and it's pretty loud in here. The exhaust is broken right after the manifold. Um, so yeah, but I might we might take this for a little cruise right down the road. I'm not gonna take it out to the main road, just the side road that we live on here. Pretty low speeds and everything. Um, especially this time of year, cause it's, like I say, it's 43 degrees today and we got all this snow on the ground. And it uh, was warm yesterday too, and then it got cold last night and it froze. So everything's one big sheet of ice. Continuously melting sheet of ice, but okay. One thing I will say about this truck, and it's old kind of fucked up mirrors, is it's really hard to see what the fuck you're doing when you're backing up. So, quality of footage while I'm backing up probably isn't very good. I acknowledge that. It's got something going on with the brakes. The brakes kind of hiss. It's really smooth.
pressure gauge don't work. That about freaked me out the first time I drove it. But we have pressure. We just aren't being informed of it. awful loud when you're just rolling. this road you get to plow it yourself.
down with the snow in it, probably about five or six without it. Swallow this truck right up. Well, that's kind of a snowy place to turn around. I think right down here is pretty much where the guy finishes plowing, and then after that, the road kind of goes through this camp that's gated off and kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, we got a good turnaround spot right here. Um, I'll record for a few more minutes on the way back. I'll kind of second gear it on the way back so the RPM gets up a little bit. You guys can hear the old inline six per a little bit better. It's it's an automatic. It's not like a column shift, but you know you got that uh, neutral second or yeah neutral drive second and first. And if you put it in second, it'll still start in first, but uh, it won't go into. Well, at least I believe it starts in first. I don't know. This thing shifts so smooth, it's kind of hard to tell. But I believe if you put it at that in the second position, it'll start first and then go to second, but it won't uh, won't go to third. And that can be used for a multitude of things that I'll explain another time. If you don't already know what it does, you know, on your own. Mainly a towing thing. Or a really shitty weather thing. Or uh, my transmission doesn't know what fucking gear to go into. It always flips back and forth, so I pick a gear for it. It's pretty slick and slushy back here, so I'm not going only about 25, 30 mile an hour. And this truck has uh, 275 gears in it. It's good for some things, especially considering we do most of our, uh, well, all of our towing with that Dodge pickup that I have. So we don't really need this to tow much, um, but it does have to haul a bit of wood here and there, and it's got to haul a dirt bike around, and just basic truck shit. Nothing you couldn't do with a Ford Ranger. Ranger would be just as good for the job as this thing is. tire spin right there but it's a good truck though i'm glad we got it it needs a bit of work it's i uh, got this single barrel that deer's running across the road up there again got a single barrel uh carburetor in it and with the cam that these had i believe they make 120 horsepower and like 170 foot pounds of torque or something. Inline sixes aren't nearly as powerful as everyone gives them credit for, but what they do well is make that torque at a really low RPM, lower than just about any other gas engine you can get. They behave a lot like a diesel. And 4.9 liter, you know, 300 cubic inches. They're not a small motor. most reliable engines ever made. Of course, it's hard to break shit when you only make 120 horsepower, but hey, um, you can do a lot to these trucks, though. There are guys that have turbocharged them and done shit to them and have, a, you know, 500 foot-pounds of torque and, you know, and have still put 200,000 miles on the thing, so it's not like it hurts reliability either. kind of drifts a little bit but then it hooks hits the high rpm and runs out of torque and just says nope we're all down low man that was frozen wolf shit a 
little squirrel at about 35 on this shit, but I just kind of wanted you guys to hear the motor for a minute. Exhaust might fall off the truck if I want about 45. Well, what's left of it? I need to just cut it off. I wouldn't really care if it fell off, but I wanted to. Don't want it to fuck up any of the rear brake lines or anything. about it for this video I'm just actually I'm probably gonna stop by and see my neighbor it looked like he had his garage open when I drove by see if he needs any help so I'm gonna pretty much cut it there but uh just wanted to show everybody Leon's 1982 f-150 the inline six and the I'm not sure if it's the c4 or the c6 transmission it's a three-speed automatic not sure which one but I uh eh. That don't matter for now. I'll cover that in another video. Thanks for watching.